हेलो माय डियर लर्नर्स वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन इनफैक्ट इट्स वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून गुड आफ्टरनून ऑल ऑफ यू एंड वेलकम टू द सेशन एंड वेलकम टू ऑफिशियल इंग्लिश मीडियम चैनल ऑफ एग्जामपुर दैट इज इंग्लिश मीडियम प्रेप बाय एग्जामपुर सो गुड आफ्टरनून गाइस एंड वेलकम टू द सेशन एवरी एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द मैराथन ऑफ द मैराथन सेशन एंड दैट इज द मैराथन ऑफ आर्ट एंड कल्चर एंड आर्ट एंड कल्चर गाइज इट इज सच अ इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फ्रॉम द एग्जामिनेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू बिकॉज इन एवरी एग्जामिनेशन वॉट आई हैव सीन कि इन द हिस्ट्री सेक्शन इट सेल्फ दे हैव रिड्यूज द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द मेडिवल इंडिया एंड दे हैव स्टार्टेड अ न्यू सेक्शन दैट इज कॉल्ड आर्ट एंड कल्चर and art and culture it is not only important for of the medieval india equally important for ancient and medieval india as well so it's an important section from where you can find question almost in every examination so vijay good afternoon and welcome to the session and as you all know ki the weekends they are celebrated as the marathon days and uh, some marathons that held that was held on yesterday and some of the marathons that will held on today itself so today we are going to do the marathon of the marathon session of art and culture very important section and very yet productive for the examination point of view and hopefully if i talk about cgl the notification can come at any point of time because the date of cgl notification according to the ssc that was yesterday but yesterday the notification of ssc cgl did not came so hopefully today or on monday the notification may come and uh, examination that is proposed in december so almost uh, 90 days or 3 months left for your examination to start so dear students now we will be starting the marathon session of the ancient of the art and culture marathon session of art and culture and now let's start the session Let's start the session, and here is the first question that is before you. कि the रथ यात्रा in Puri that is celebrated in the honor of. So रथ यात्रा it's a very famous festival, and it is celebrated in the honor of which of the following god? Is it Lord Ram, Vishnu, Lord Jagannath, or Lord Vishnu? So रथ यात्रा in Puri is celebrated in the honor of which god? So the session will start with a very easy question. so correct answer guys okay vijay is saying option c that is lord jagannath and lord jagannath is also the correct answer and lord jagannath it is said that ki he is lord krishna so he is lord krishna followed by balram so he is lord krishna and said that ki lord krishna is the incarnation of vishnu so lord krishna is incarnation of lord vishnu so correct answer will be option c that is lord jagannath it is held in puri and puri it is a it is in odisha and my dear students first of all if i talk about this lord jagannath so it is held in jagannath temple jagannath temple now please tell me ki jagannath temple that is also called white pagoda that is also called white pagoda now tell me who was the who was the king who established or who constructed jagannath temple so who is credited for the construction of jagannath temple who is credited for the construction of jagannath temple who is credited for the construction of jagannath temple now please tell me the name of that king name of that king guys who was credited for the construction of jagannath temple name the king who constructed this jagannath temple black pagoda that is konark temple very good so that is not narsingha varman no 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 vijay it is not narsimha varman pravin is saying see that is lord jagannath definitely it is lord jagannath and it is said that he is incarnate it is lord vishnu and in puri odisha he is known by the name of jagannath not narsimha not narsimha my dear 
प्लीज टेल मी द नेम ऑफ द किंग हु जस्ट कंस्ट्रक्टेड दिस जगन्नाथ टेम्पल कृष्ण देव राय कृष्ण देव राय वॉज इन विजयनगर सो कर्नाटका एंड दैट इज इन उड़ीसा सो देर इज टू मच डिफरेंस डियर विजयनगर हम दैट इज इन कर्नाटका सो हजारा राम मंदिर विठल स्वामी मंदिर दीज आर द टेम्पल्स विच वॉज कंस्ट्रक्टेड बाई कृष्ण देव राय हजारा राम मंदिर विठल स्वामी टेम्पल दैट इज बाई कृष्ण देव राय नॉट बाई नॉट दिस जगन्नाथ टेम्पल एनी वन हु कैन गिव मी द करेक्ट आंसर हु कंस्ट्रक्टेड दिस जगन्नाथ टेम्पल वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन गाइज एंड लेट मी गिव यू अ वेरी बिग हिंट ही इज एसोसिएटेड विथ गंग डायनेस्टी सो ही इज एसोसिएटेड विथ गंग डायनेस्टी कृष्ण देव राय वॉज फ्रॉम तुलुफ डायनेस्टी सो बोथ आर डिफरेंट गाइज करेक्ट आंसर की हु कंस्ट्रक्टेड दिस टेम्पल दैट इज अनंत वर्मन सो ही इज द पर्सन हुज नेम इज अनंत वर्मन एंड ही इज फ्रॉम गंग डायनेस्टी ही इज फ्रॉम गंग डायनेस्टी सो द नेम ऑफ द किंग इज अनंता वर्मन एंड ही इज एसोसिएटेड विथ गंग डायनेस्टी एंड दिस पर्टिकुलर टेम्पल गाइज दैट इज कॉल्ड व्हाइट पेगोडा if you will go to puri and if you will visit this temple there is very unique feature first of all the temple flag of the temple is changed every day so the main facility main thing about temple that is the flag of temple is changed every day now the idol of krishna बलराम एंड सुभद्रा दे आर मेड अप ऑफ वुड अदर देन दिस गाइस के इफ यू विल एंटर इन साइड द टेम्पल यू विल हियर नो साउंड ऑफ द सी सो ओके डेफिनेटली इट इज अनंता वर्मन ऑफ गंग डायनेस्टी विजय थर्ड इंपॉर्टेंट फीचर गाइस की द सुदर्शन चक्रा दैट इज इंस्टॉल्ड ऑन द अपोर्ट साइड ऑफ द टेम्पल सो सुदर्शन चक्रा इफ यू विल सी सुदर्शन चक्रा एट इन फ्रॉम एनी डायरेक्शन दैट विल पॉइंट की इफ इट इज फेसिंग यू अदर देन दिस इफ यू विल एंटर इन साइड द टेम्पल देर इज नो साउंड ऑफ सी नो साउंड ऑफ सी एंड वंस यू विल गो आउटसाइड टेम्पल you will hear the sound of sea and the area of temple that is completely a no flying zone so the area where the temple is located you will find ki no birds fly over the temple so no birds fly over the temple so it is naturally a no flying zone area so it is naturally a no flying zone area so sanjeev good afternoon jai hind now if i talk about lord shiva there is a very famous temple called lingaraj temple lingaraj temple that is in odisha that is in bhubaneswar that is in bhubaneswar that is the famous temple lingaraj temple If I talk about famous temple of Lord Vishnu, there are two famous temples. In fact, although there are many temples that is associated with Lord Vishnu, one temple it is in Gaya that is called Vishnu Pad Temple. There you will find footprints of Lord Vishnu. So Lord Vishnu Temple you will find. One first of all it is in Gaya. That is called Vishnu Pad Temple. Vishnu Pad Temple, the Pitri Paksh Mela is held over there every year, and you will find that in the footprint of Lord Vishnu, it is in Vishnu Pad Temple. Other than this, very famous Padmanabh Swami Temple that is in Tiruvananthapuram that is dedicated to Lord Vishnu. So, correct answer will be option D for this question. That is Lord Jagannath Rath Yatra. It is held every year, and you will find three chariots are there, not only one chariot. three chariots are there one chariot is of lord krishna second is of his elder brother balram and third is of his sister that is subhadra so not only one chariot goes three chariot goes brihadeshwar temple from and yes 
Brihadeshwar temple that is also a temple that is dedicated to Lord Shiva in Tanjore that is also called Raj Rajeshwar temple and it is completely made by granite and you will find my dear students ki the shadow of the Brihadeshwar temple during afternoon time does not fall on the land so that is the beauty so Rajeshwar Rajesh is saying from Gya yeah, definitely it is the one of the famous temples that is Vishnu Pada temple and you will find ki it is prohibited so the entry of non-Muslims person it is prohibited in Vishnu Pada temple there you will find footprint of Lord Vishnu so footprint of Lord Vishnu it is there and I have personally seen that footprint and it's a very beautiful and yet a very religious place now let's move to the next question guys so you can note down these things these are the features of this Purit that is the Jagannath temple these are the basic features of Jagannath temple I hope my dear students is that clear to all of you shall I move to the next question shall I move to the next question okay so let's move to the next question now come to a very easy question ki which among the following city was given as Guru Dakshina by Pandavas to Guru, Guru Dronacharya so out of these four cities which city was given as Guru Dakshina to by Pandavas to Guru Dronacharya is it Rawalpindi, Nainital, Hastinapur, Gurugaon so dear students which city was given as Guru Dakshina by Pandavas to Guru Dronacharya, Rawalpindi, Nainital, Hastinapur, Gurgaon. Gurgaon. Can you see, can you give me the correct answer? Okay, let's see. Praveen is saying option C. Vijay is going with option C. Guys, hurry up and first of all, I will request every one of you to please share the session so that maximum students should join and can take the benefit of this. So let's see the correct answer my dear, oh ho, guys correct answer is not option C Hastinapur because Hastinapur was the capital of Kuru Mahajanpad, capital of Kuru Mahajanpad that was Hastinapur, my dear students and Hastinapur that is near Merat. Right now it is near Merit that is in Uttar Pradesh. First of all the city that was given as Guru Dakshina. Guru Dakshina by Pandavas to Guru Dronacharya that is Gurgaon. That is Gurgaon my dear that is not Rawalpindi. Rawalpindi it is in Pakistan. Rawalpindi it is in Pakistan so the place of Shoaib Akhtar. Therefore he was called Rawalpindi Express. Correct answer will be option C Guru, Gurgaon. And in September 2006, 16, sorry, it was renamed as Guru Gram. It was renamed as Guru Gram. So right now it is known by the name of Guru Gram. Guru means mentor and Gram means the village. So this place was donated by Pandavas to Guru Dronacharya as a Guru Dakshina. So correct answer will be Gurgaon. Right now it is in Haryana. It is an NCR area. It is an NCR area located in Haryana. So located in Haryana. So correct answer will be my dear students. It is option D Gurgaon not Hastinapur. So correct answer will be option D Gurgaon and in two, September 2016 this place was renamed as Guru Gram. Hmm. Okay, so you live in Guru Gram. So Sanjeev, I thought you must be knowing about this. This particular place in September 2016, it was renamed as Guru Gram. Guru means teacher, Gram means the village. So this whole area was given by given to Dronacharya by Pandavas. And Dronacharya, he was the disciple of Guru Parshuram. So he was the disciple of Guru Parshuram. Guru Parshuram. 
so correct answer will be guys option d and guru parshuram was disciple was and uh, dronacharya was disciple of guru parshuram and pandavas and kauravas they were disciples of guru dronacharya and it is said according to the hindu religious text it is said that ki Dro, uh, guru parshuram through his lifetime he taught only three students one was dronacharya second was bhishma pitama and third was kan so he never taught anyone other than these three so correct answer will be what it will be option d gurgaon right now it is known as guru gram so i hope my dear students is that clear to all of you nanital that is located in uttarakhand hmm. so this question can be asked in interview also if you are from guru gurgaon so they may ask you ki okay in which year the gurgaon became gurugram other than this which area was donated by pandavas to guru dronacharya so this type of question may come in your interview so we should remember this type of things if you are from this particular place therefore correct answer will be what it will be option d i hope my dear learners is that clear to all of you and before i should proceed to the next question whatever it is written on the smart board is it visible to all whatever it is written in the smart board is it is it visible to all of you the things which is written on smart board visible to all of you okay so if it is properly visible then we will be moving to the next question and we'll see what next question is for us now jalli kattu it is associated with which indian festival jalli kattu जल्ली कट्टू जल्ली कट्टू इज इट रिलेटेड टू ओनम पोंगल बिहू और हॉर्नबेल ओके लेट सी द करेक्ट आंसर माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल जल्ली कट्टू ओके जागेश वघेला इज सेइंग पोंगल चंथारू हॉर्नबिल दैट इज ऑफ नागालैंड गुड ओनम दैट इज ऑफ केरल सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल गाइस जल्ली कट्टू इन व्हिच यू विल फाइंड कि बफेलो रेस इज देयर एंड इट्स अ वेरी डेंजरस गेम बफेलो रेस इज देयर एंड समटाइम्स बफेलो बिकम्स वायलेंट एंड किल द पर्सन नाउ ओनम दैट इज इन केरल पोंगल दैट इज इन तमिलनाडु देन बिहू इट इज इन असम एंड हॉर्नबिल दैट इज इन नागालैंड एंड जल्ली कट्टू इट इज एसोसिएटेड विथ तमिलनाडु नाउ व्हाट विल बी द करेक्ट आंसर व्हाट विल बी द करेक्ट आंसर माय डियर लर्नर्स कि जस्ट आई हैव रिटेन कि इट इज अ वेरी डेंजरस गेम इन फैक्ट इट्स अ वेरी वेरी डेंजरस गेम देयर यू विल फाइंड कि इट इज एसोसिएटेड विथ पोंगल फेस्टिवल सो इट इज एसोसिएटेड विथ पोंगल सो इट इज एसोसिएटेड विथ पोंगल फेस्टिवल सो दैट इज अ वेरी डेंजरस गेम सो दैट इज एसोसिएटेड विथ pongal festival so thus like in sweden you can find the bull fighting is there so that is to control the bulls and it's a very dangerous game so it's a very dangerous game and if you will try to play then sometimes it may happen ki it become a very dangerous for any person yes supreme court has banned this festival but right now it is not it is being uh, played in sometimes in ma maximum in three districts of tamil nadu generally this is being played in the madurai if i am not wrong generally this is played in the madurai region so but a very dangerous sports so onam that is in keral 
Pongal that is in Tamil Nadu, Bihu it is in Assam and Hornbill it is in Nagaland. Therefore guys correct answer will be what? It will be Pongal. So it will be Pongal festival. I hope it is clear to all of you. Very dangerous festival. Don't try to attempt it. Don't try to attempt it. So Jack jokes apart. Don't try to attempt it. Very dangerous because you have to control a aggressive bull. And aggression of the bull is very dangerous. Hmm. So correct answer will be option B. And now we will be moving to the next question. Next question is very easy for you people. Okay, Konkani is the official language of which, which state or union territory? Chandigarh, Gujarat, Daman and Diu or Delhi? Where you will find Konkani as the official language? Chandigarh, Gujarat, Daman and Diu or Delhi? You can use elimination method also to answer this question. Okay, let's see the correct answer. Konkani. Konkani that is also in the schedule 7 of the in, schedule 8 of this Indian constitution. So, first of all guys, Konkani that is widely spoken in Daman and Diu plus Goa. In Chandigarh guys, you will find Punjabi and Hindi that is widely spoken. Then in Gujarat, you will find Gujarati widely spoken. Delhi, you will find Hindi. And it is a cultural mix of all the language. Here you will find people speaking Punjabi also, Hindi also. So Delhi is a cultural mixed place. And Konkani it is the official language of Daman and Diu other than this Goa. Now my dear students you have to tell me ki by which amendment act Konkani was introduced in schedule 8 of Indian constitution. Now tell me a different question ki by which amendment act. Konkani was added in Schedule 8. Tell me. Konkani was added in Schedule 8 by which amendment act? So, hmm. So, by which amendment act, guys, the Konkani that was added in Schedule 8? Okay, Sanjeev is saying 71st, Chantharu is saying 71. Now, he has changed the option. My dear students, if I talk about the list of official languages that is in Schedule 8, list of official language, list of official language. One second, let me write it properly, list of official language. So, 21st Amendment Act, Sindhi was added, 71st Amendment Act, Konkani, Manipuri and Nepali was added and 92nd Amendment Act, Bodo, Dogri, Mathili and Santhali was added. So, these are the total it became 1, then 3, then 4. So, originally there were 14 languages, now we have 22 languages. So, correct answer will be guys option C that is Daman and Diu plus in Goa you will find Konkani language is being, add, is being spoken. And in list of official language, originally we have 14 languages. Originally we have 14. Right now we have 22. Therefore, correct answer will be option C. Daman and Div and list of official language, 21st Amendment Act. Then Sindhi language is added. 71st, Konkani, Manipuri, Nepali. Manipuri it is also called Methi language. And 92nd, Bodo, Dogri, Methli, Santhali. Huh. Santhali that is speaking, spoken in Jharkhand. So, Santhali that is spoken in Jharkhand. So, Santhali it is spoken in Jharkhand Chantaru. 
इट इज स्पोकन इन झारखंड सो मेनली इन झारखंड संथाल परगना एरिया बट इन सम पार्ट ऑफ उड़ीसा बिकॉज उड़ीसा इट इज वेरी नियर टू झारखंड सो सम पीपल स्पीक्स ऑल्सो बट मेजर चंक ऑफ पॉपुलेशन स्पीक्स इन झारखंड सो आई होप इट इज क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू हाँ सो शी इज ऑल्सो फ्रॉम द संथाल ट्राइब देयर फोर करेक्ट आंसर विल बी गाइज ऑप्शन सी दैट इज दमन एंड दीव दमन एंड दीव प्लस गोवा यू विल फाइंड पीपल स्पीकिंग कोंकणी आई होप इट इज क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू शैल आई मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन एंड दीज आर द थ्री अमेंडमेंट थ्रू विच एट लैंग्वेजेस आर बींग एडेड देयर फोर द नंबर ऑफ इशियल लैंग्वेजेस दैट वॉज अर्लियर फोर्टीन नाउ इट बिकेम ट्वेंटी टू सो इज दैट क्लियर ऑल ऑफ यू गाइज एनी डाउट टू एनी वन फील फ्री टू आस्क then we will be moving to the next question 92nd amendment act that is konkani that is bodo dogri mathili santhali i hope it is clear shall i move to the next question okay so let's move to the next question and let's see what next question is for us okay let's move to the next question now just you have to match the festival along with the state 1 2 3 gangor ganesh chaturthi durga puja ganesh chaturthi ended on the day on day before yesterday that was on anant chaturdashi states west bengal rajasthan maharashtra yes 92nd amendment act that i have already written that is 92nd amendment act yes 92nd amendment act bodo dogri mathili santhali now dear please answer this question and timer is already started so please answer this question and i will request every one of you to please share the session so that maximum students should join and feel and get the results okay let's see the correct answer everyone whether sanjeev pravin chantharu vijay everyone they are going with option a now guys gangor festival that is generally celebrated in Rajasthan so for one it will be option B then Ganesh Chaturthi it's a very famous festival of Maharashtra so correct answer will be option C Durga Puja then it is famous for West Bengal after 15 days Durga Puja will start right now it is Pitri Paksh so after Pitri Paksh Durga Puja will start so correct answer will be for one it is B two it is C and A so that is B C A correct answer will be option and gangor festival guys one thing you should note about gangor festival gangor festival it is did in rajasthan by maiden girls or the unmarried girls and married uh, ladies also so this gangor that is a festival of lord shiva and parvati shiva plus goddess parvati and it is did by did by married plus unmarried girls married ladies and unmarried girls so they both celebrate this festival so it is not only celebrated by hmm now ganesh chaturthi it is also very it is now guys ganesh chaturthi has become a global type festival not only in maharashtra but it is celebrated in bihar it is celebrated in delhi so now it has taken a global image but the place from where the ganpati utsav or ganesh chaturthi originated that is maharashtra so from the place where ganpati utsav originated that is maharashtra so we will have to go with the maharashtra although it is now very popular in every state of india like durga puja durga puja started from west bengal but the durga puja of bihar is also very famous durga puja of uttar pradesh especially the eastern part of uttar pradesh it is also very famous same is condition with the chhat puja also earlier chhat puja was popular in bihar including jharkhand but right now it is popular outside india also the people in mumbai also does chhat puja so now it has become 
now it has become a very popular festival so just like hartalika tij that is did in our places especially in the eastern part of uttar pradesh and bihar haritalika tij that is also for the longevity of the husband that is did for the longevity of the husband by married ladies and the per, unmarried should get a choice of his her groom that therefore it was did by unmarried girls also so mostly haritalika tij it is did by married and married depend upon the cust depends upon the tradition of the family but in my family only married ladies they are allowed to do this hartalika tij for the longevity of the husband but i have seen in many households including my state ke the unmarried girls also does the hartalika tij so that they can get a good husband like lord shiva so that is the correct answer my dear so correct answer will be option a is that clear although now every festival has taken a global image in mauritius also you will find in london as well you will find people doing chhat puja so they have carried their legacy and tradition to the foreign countries so that's a good thing now our festival is also getting popularized all around the world so that's a very good thing for us earlier we used to celebrate the foreign festivals now foreigners are celebrating our festivals so that is the cultural you can say in cultural impact of india on foreign countries now my dear let's move to the next question now see the famous ganga sagar mela is an annual fair that is held in which state of india so it is said that ki sab sagar bar bar ganga sagar ek bar so ganga sagar it is held ganga sagar festival this is held in which state of india okay is it in bihar jharkhand uttar pradesh or west bengal so where you will find ganga sagar festival okay let's see the correct answer everyone they are saying option d and correct answer is also option d that is in west bengal you will find ganga sagar festival that is held in that is being celebrated celebrated in sagar dweep swagar dweep that is called sagar island that is also called sagar island sagar island now my dear student this is the second biggest festival after kumbh mela in india so it is the second biggest fair after kumbh mela in india so second biggest fair after kumbh mela in india so correct answer will be option d that is in west bengal hmm no 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 that is not near kamakhya temple ambuvachi festival that is celebrated in assam so ambuvachi festival that is celebrated in kamakhya temple that is in assam that is in assam so ambuvachi festival that is celebrated in kamakhya temple that is in assam clear and this is a ganga sagar mela that is being celebrated in the month of january around makar sankranti so this is celebrated in month of january that is around makar sankranti that is celebrated in month of january around makar sankranti that generally comes around 14 january that comes around 14 january therefore guys correct answer will be option d that is in west bengal this ganga sagar island is and people go and take a holy dip in river ganga and there they celebrate the ganga sagar mela ganga sagar mela is being held and it is around makar sankranti that is around 14 january 
सो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई थिंक इट शुड बी क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू एंड मस्ट बी अंडरस्टूड बाई ऑल एंड इट इज सेकेंड बिगेस्ट फेयर आफ्टर कुंभ मेला इन इंडिया सो इज दैट क्लियर टू एवरी वन सो डेफिनेटली वी कैन से खिचड़ी इन इन इट इज कॉल्ड एज मकर संक्रांति इन द नॉर्दर्न पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया देयर एट ड्यूरिंग इवनिंग टाइम पीपल कंज्यूम खिचड़ी सो पीपल हैव स्टार्टेड कॉलिंग इट एज अ खिचड़ी बट टेक्निकली इट इज मकर संक्रांति सो वंस द सन कम्स इन द मकर राशि देन इट इज बींग सेलिब्रेटेड देन इट इज बींग सेलिब्रेटेड सो करेक्ट आंसर विल बी गाइज ऑप्शन डी दैट इज वेस्ट बेंगोल and chhat puja that is celebrated in bihar so chhat puja that is celebrated in bihar so it is a main festival of bihar but now it is celebrated almost every part of india so correct answer will be option d now come to the next question you have to celebrate the festival with the state in which state which festival is being celebrated Uh, first part it is with the festival second part is with the state onam kuchipudi pongal gudi padwa so kuchipudi that is the name of the village also it's name of a dance technically not it is the name of a festival actually it is the name of a dance also and it's name of a village but i will not tell you the name of the state states are maharashtra andhra tamil nadu keral Okay, let's see the correct answer. Sanjeev is saying option D. Chantharu option B. Sanjeev now has also changed the option to B. Okay, guys. First of all, see others answer. Then according to you, just draft your answer. Okay, correct answer, guys. Let's check what's the correct answer is Onam. Okay, so okay that means Kerala. So for one, it will be D option. Kuchipudi. It is name of a dance also. It is a classical dance of India plus name of a village. in andhra pradesh so correct answer will be option b pongal pongal it is celebrated in tamil nadu so option c and gudi padwa that is the marathi new year that is celebrated in maharashtra option a so d b c a d b c a correct answer will be option b and gudi padwa guys it is a marathi new year marathi new year so it is marathi new year that is called gudi padwa so correct answer will be option a kuchipudi it is name of a classical dance plus village in andhra pradesh now my dear students i have a question for you all hmm gudi kachi ghodi that is of the name of the dance in fact so gudi padwa it is name of a festival now my question to you for everyone is ki how many classical dances are in india so can you tell me the number of classical dances in india so let me just write it properly number of classical dances in india number of classical dances in india yes ugadi it is a new year of andhra andhra telangana ugadi is celebrated as a new year andhra telangana the region now please tell me ki how many classical dances are in india okay the students who know the trick that's well and good but now tell me about those student who does not know ki how many classical dances are in india definitely chantaru you remember the trick also that's very good okay guys the number of classical dances in india is total 8 so total 8 classical dances are in india so the trick to remember the classical dances is k cube m square o b s k for kathak k for kathakali k for kuchipudi M for Manipuri. Second M. O for Odissi. 
एम फॉर मोहिनी अट्टम ओ फॉर ओडिसी बी फॉर भारतनाट्यम एस फॉर सतारिया सो दीज आर द नेम्स ऑफ द क्लासिकल डांसेस ऑफ इंडिया दो स्टूडेंट हाँ दो स्टूडेंट हु डज नॉट नो द नेम्स ऑफ द क्लासिकल डांसेस प्लीज नोट डाउन द ट्रिक इज के क्यूब एम स्क्वायर ओ बी एस के फॉर कथक के फॉर कथक कली के फॉर कुचीपुड़ी एम फॉर मणिपुरी एम फॉर मोहिनी अट्टम दैट इज डन इन केरल ओ फॉर उड़ीसी एस फॉर एस फॉर बी फॉर भरतनाट्यम एंड एस फॉर सतारिया नाउ ओके सो डेफिनेटली विजय दैट इज बींग पॉइंट इज बींग टेकन आई विल जस्ट ट्राई टू मेक अ लिस्ट ऑफ द फेमस डांसर्स बट नॉट द डांसर्स ऑफ एवरी डांस दे जनरली आस दे जनरली आस द डांसर्स हु आर बिट फेमस लाइक पंडित बिरजू महाराज लच्छू महाराज अच्छन महाराज और सोनल मान सिंह हेमा मालिनी दीज नाउ टेल मी कि सतारिया डांस इट इज ऑफ विच स्टेट सो सतारिया डांस इट इज ऑफ विच स्टेट Which state of India? Sataria dance. Which state of India? Sataria dance. Which state of India? Sataria. Okay. So Sataria that is being originated by Acharya Shankar Dev, and this is from Assam. Very good. So that is from Assam. and what is the capital of assam what is the capital of assam guys let me ask you a very easy question let's see how many of you can give me the correct answer what is the capital of assam okay sanjeev good so what is the capital of assam that is dispur once i asked the capital of assam so they starts they start answering that that is guwahati because max on the maximum people tongue guwahati it is a very famous place but it is dispur very good that is dispur some people once i asked this question ki what is the capital of assam they some people start as saying ki sir guwahati because guwahati it is a very famous place so that is hemant biswas sharma that is the chief minister of this place so that is assam that is dispur once i ask you what is the currency of lakshadweep someone said it is dollar so once i was taking a ha huh. once i asked a question ki who is the current what is the currency of lakshadweep someone some said ki don't know some said about assam some said about dollar so sometimes this type of this type of things becomes very famous so next question that is ki current governor current governor is jagdish mukhi jagdish mukhi जगदीश मुखी करेंट गवर्नर इज जगदीश मुखी यस करेंट गवर्नर इज जगदीश मुखी सो समाइम्स द स्टूडेंट सेड कि व्हाट इज द करेंसी ऑफ लक्षदीप आई आज इन दिस सेट की नो सर वी डोंट नो सम साइड के सर डोंट नो सम साइड के सर इट माइट बी डॉलर देन आई सेट कि लक्षदीप इट इज इन विच पार्ट इट इज it is the it is under which country they said oh yes yes it is of part of india so now it will be rupee so this type of thing happens ha uh, once where is nagaland then he told me in switzerland so that may happen so india is full of different different types of wonderful people so definitely he must have said nagaland that is in switzerland that happens that's not a very big deal in india so people they have different type of apprehensions about the different things so correct answer will be guys option d that is for this match of the following that is with the festivals and the states now come to the next question 
in which language was used by Tulsi Das to write Ram Charitra Manas. So Tulsi Das, we all know, Goswami Tulsi Das wrote Ram Charitra Manas. That is in which language? So Ram Charitra Manas, guys, that's a very religious book for the Hindu people. And in almost every Hindu household, we get the book Ram Charitra Manas. So Ram Charitra Manas, guys, that was written by Tulsi Das, and it is written in Avadhi language. So it is written in Avadhi language that is around 15. 1574 AD he wrote and this was the time period of Akbar 1556 to 1605 this is the time period of Akbar so this is the time period of Akbar and Ramayan Ramayan it is written in Sanskrit by Rishi Valmiki Ramayana was written in Sanskrit by Rishi Valmiki. Prakrit, that is written, that is the Agam literature. Agam literature, that is the Jain literature. That is written in Prakrit and in Pali, Buddhist literature. Literature, especially Tripitak that is written in Pali. So in Ramayana it is written in Sanskrit that was being written by Rishi Valmiki. Rishi Valmiki earlier name was Ratnakar. He was a robber. So his original name was Ratnakar. Ratnakar. So that is written by Tulsi Das in Avdhi language. Okay. Now my question to you is ki who wrote Hanuman Chalisa? So who wrote Hanuman Chalisa? So this Hanuman Chalisa that many people recite every day. I also recite on daily basis. So Hanuman Chalisa it is written by whom? Hmm. Now my question to you is ki many people recite Hanuman Chalisa. Maximum of you might recite also on daily basis or otherwise on Tuesday or Saturday. So, who wrote this Hanuman Chalisa? Raj Tarangini that is written by Kalhan. Kalhan wrote Raj Tarangini that is about the history of Kashmir, Aman. So, Hanuman Chalisa it is also written by Tulsi Das. So, Hanuman Chalisa this is also written by Tulsi Das. So, Tulsi Das ji wrote Hanuman Chalisa as well. Other than this, he wrote the Ram Charitra Manas also. Hmm. Mahabharat. Mahabharat was written by Ved Vyas. So, Mahabharat was written by Ved Vyas. And Mahabharat is the longest epic of world. So, it has almost 1 lakh shlokas. It has almost 1 lakh shlokas. Mahabharat, it is written by Ved Vyas. So, 1 lakh verses, 1 lakh shlokas, that is therefore, it is the longest epic of the world. Original name was Jai Sahita, then it was followed by Bharat and then Mahabharat. Original name was Jai Sahita, followed by Bharat, followed by Mahabharat. So, correct answer will be option A, D, that is Avdhi, that is Tulsi Das wrote Ram Charitra Manas in Avdhi language. Hmm. Therefore, correct answer will be option D. Correct answer will be option D. Now, guys, I hope it is clear to all of you and all the extra information that we got about the different other text that is clear to all. So, any doubt to anyone till now, so don't hesitate to ask. Any doubt anyone till now? Any doubt anyone till now?
एनी डाउट एनी वन टिल नाउ माई डियर ओके सो दैट इज ऑल गुड सो सर वेन विल बी द एस एस सी जी डी नोटिफिक सी जी एल नोटिफिकेशन गाइज अकॉर्डिंग टू द कैलेंडर दैट वॉज बिंग गिवेन बाई एस एस सी सो सी जी एल नोटिफिकेशन वॉज अबाउट टू कम येस्टरडे सो वी वर ऑल वेटिंग इन द ऑफिस टिल टेन पी एम बट एनी हाउ द नोटिफिकेशन डिड नॉट केम सो वॉट इज द मोस्ट प्रोबेबल टूडे इज संडे सो टूडे इज हॉलीडे इट इट मे कम ड्यूरिंग इवनिंग टाइम और for sure short tomorrow so tomorrow whenever the notification will be come we will be live with the whole information about the ssc cgl so till now the notification has did not came so hopefully we are thinking ki today it will came or hopefully on monday but the chances according to me chances of monday is more because today is holiday so hopefully today may not come so according to ssc calendar it was about to come yesterday but it did not came our whole team was waiting with all the necessary informations ki just we have to go live as the notification comes but till 12 o'clock i was there so notification did not came so today is holiday so hopefully tomorrow in morning or during the evening time it may come so i hope my dear dana d is it clear so whenever we, it will come hopefully tomorrow it will come so once it will come we will be live with all the relevant information for you so let's move to the next question and let's discuss what next question is for us now come to the next question ki of which of the following state gamosa is a cultural symbol so out of this four state in which state of india you will find gamosa as a cultural symbol is it kerala assam rajasthan or haryana so in which state of india gamosa is a cultural symbol okay it's a very easy question let's see how many of you can answer it properly without any chinks and flaws okay let's see gamosa see three symbols are important for so correct answer will be assam so zorai bota and gamosa gamosa it is also called gamocha gamosa both are the same and it is a cloth it is a cloth and it is given as a sense of respect to the people as a sense of respect to the people therefore correct answer will be option a zorai bota gamosa or gamocha that is the cultural symbols of assam and gamocha it is a cloth and it is a given as a sense of respect to the people to the people so correct answer will be guys option b now if you will go to rajasthan if you will go to rajasthan you will find ki people if they respect you if as a sense of respect they gives you the sword in the rajasthan generally if the if you are a host of any particular person or if you are a guest of any particular person so they generally give you two things that i have got one they gives you the shoes shoes that is called mojdi and the second one is the talwar and safa so these are the symbols that generally it is given in rajasthan like they give you pagdi or safa or they gives you generally mojdi so that is the shoe and if the person if your host is a rajput person generally what i have seen ki they give you the sword also they give you the sword also so pagdi or safa that is generally being given mojdi in some places like in udaipur if you will get go then they will give you the mojdi also and so generally it is given by the host generally who are rajput people host who are rajput then they give you this thing and for kerala guys it is also known as god's own country because of the natural beauty 
and Haryana guys this is the place of the wrestlers of India. So Haryana state has produced many wrestlers of India who have earned name fame on different Indian sports. In different places, different venues they have earned the name fame especially the wrestlers and boxers. So especially the wrestlers and boxers. This is the place of wrestlers and boxers. So correct answer will be guys option B that is Assam. So correct answer will be option B. Now let's come to the next question. Ravi Daya, Bajrang Punia, Vijender Singh these all are from us. These all are from Haryana. So this is the place of boxers and wrestlers. In almost in every place you will find wrestling competition happens that is called Dangal. That is called Dangal. Babita Fogart, other than this, Babita Fogart, the sister, the Fogart sisters, they are all from the Haryana. So the Fogart sisters, Geeta Fogart, Babita Fogart, they are from Haryana, in fact. So Sakshi Malik also from Haryana, Pradeep Sangwan also from Haryana. So this is the place of wrestlers and boxers. So correct answer will be option B. Now Come to the next question, Rani Ki Vav, the Queen Stepwell, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, where it is located. So, Rani Ki Vav, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, dear, it is located in which state of India? Madhya Pradesh, Gujarat, Uttar Pradesh, Rajasthan. Okay, Sanjeev is saying option D, that is Rajasthan. Definitely Sanjeev, the, uh, okay. Okay, just once we will discuss this question, then we will give you the answer also. So, Vijay is saying option B, Gujarat, okay, Chantharu is also saying option B. My dear students, Rani Ki Vav, it is a step well that is used to preserve the water, holy water and this is located in Patan district, district of Gujarat. It is located in Patan district of Gujarat. So, Rani Ki Vav, the Queen Stepwell that is located in Patan district of Gujarat. <coughs> now, hmm, that is being seen in Raman Sita movie that I have not seen. So, I am very poor in watching the movie. So, that is in Patan district and it is being figured on 100 rupees note also, 100 rupees currency note, 100 rupees bank note. In fact, 100 rupees not to say currency so it is to be said bank note now what is the color of 100 rupees bank note so can you tell me the official color of 100 rupees bank note my dear hmm Madhya Pradesh, it is not in Madhya Pradesh. In Madhya Pradesh, you will find Sanchi Stupa is there, Bharut Stupa is there, then Bagh Caves are there. So, Sanchi Stoop, Madhya Pradesh, you will find Sanchi Stoop, Bagh Caves, Bharut Stoop, they are all, all in the Madhya Pradesh region. Now tell me the color, hmm. color that is being Rani Ki Vav, so that is the lavender, lavender color and in 200 rupees currency note you will find Sanchi Stoop, 200 rupees currency note that is the Sanchi Stoop. Now in Uttar Pradesh you have very famous Dhamek Stoop. Dhamek Stoop that is in Uttar Pradesh, it is in Varanasi that is in Sarnath and Rajasthan that you will not find this Rani Ki Vav. So, this is the place for the famous for forts, famous for forts. So, correct answer will be guys option D that is correct answer will be option D that is Gujarat. Correct answer will be option D.
ओके सो करेक्ट आंसर विल बी गाइज ऑप्शन डी ऑप्शन बी दैट इज इन गुजरात इनफैक्ट ओके लेट सी गाइज द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सो बिफोर आई शुड प्रोसीड टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन गाइज आई विल रिक्वेस्ट एवरी वन ऑफ यू टू प्लीज डाउनलोड द एग्जाम्पोर एप Why I am saying so to download the Example app because we will be launching the live paid classes with the test series through this app. Then you will be getting free subject wise, topic wise quizzes with the report card, job alert, admit card, and exam date, previous year questions along with the solutions, and free All India Scholarship test that we are going to start very soon. other than this we will be starting topic wise free live classes this facility is going to start very soon it is it will start then free full length and sectional test along with the report card and report card it is designed in such a way that you can get the you can assess your evaluation then free wise subject wise pdf then weekly monthly and daily current affairs that you will be getting in the form of pdf plus unlimited subject wise practice question so these are the facilities that you will be getting once you will download the example app now guys what are the features of this app that we are going to discuss now what are the features of this app that we have discussed now how to download this app this is very simple just it's a six step way first of all what you have to do just you have to go to google play store then you have to search example once you will search example there you will find example sarkari naukri prep screen will appear like this then just you have to download and click on let's register once you will register guys then small form will open before you there you have to fill some of your basic detail just you have to tick the check box and you have to click on register once you will click on register the app will get registered and you will start using the app so this is how to download the example app and what are the features that we are offering therefore we are saying so to please download this app for the your benefit now this was all about this let's come to the question again let's come to the question again now dogri language is mainly spoken in which of the following state or union territory so in which of the following state or union territory my dear you will find people speaking dogri so in which of the following state or union territory you will find people speaking dogri language so let's see jammu kashmir dadra and nagar haveli mizoram or tripura so there you will find people speaking dogri dogri is language guys that is being spoken in basically in jammu and kashmir so basically in jammu and kashmir the people speaks dogri language and dogri it is also so you will be doing schedule now through which amendment act added dogri language which amendment act added dogri language guys so definitely pravajal very good so which amendment act eh huh? so my voice it should be coming guys there is no problem in the voice i guess now i can see my audio is also there yes through 92nd amendment act 2003 so 92nd amendment act 2003 added bodo dogri maithili and santhali therefore correct answer will be what option a that is the jammu and kashmir now it is not a state guys it is a union territory therefore correct answer will be option a 
and dadra and nagar haveli generally people speaks to it is very near to gujarat and madhya uh, gujarat and maharashtra so people speaks gujarati also marathi as well and hindi it is a very common language over there now what is parsi new year is known as recently parsi new year is known parsi one of the very famous parsi personality that was cyrus mistri he died in a very tragic road accident so parsi new year it is known by which name parsi new year that is known by which name guys is it gudi padwa navroz makar sankranti or none of the above so parsi new year that is known by which different name parsi new year parsi new year guys parsi new year guys if i talk about parsi parsi they are the people from iran so they migrated from iran and the maximum parsi population they lives in india so maximum parsi population population they live in india and the parsi new year that is called navroz and it was started by balban it was started by balban who was the king of this yes cyrus mistri was also associated he was the former chairman of tata group former chairman of tata group cyrus mistri was gudi padwa gudi padwa guys that is in maharashtra so maharashtra and it is a marathi new year ugadi that is celebrated as a new year in andhra pradesh telangana andhra pradesh telangana then makar sankranti this is celebrated in whole north india that is around 14 january that is around 14 january so correct answer will be navroz navroz that was started by balban it is a parsi new year and guys parsis now their population is not too much in india and the method of the burial of the parsi people that is called dakhma so one thing you should note it may get asked in your examination because this dakhma that is the process of burial of the parsis that is being in news when cyrus mistri faced and died in the very tragic road accident so the method of burial of burial of parsi parsi people that is called tower of silence so the place they where they bury the people that is called tower of silence that is the burial place and in this tower of silence they you they do sky burial they do sky burial sky burial simply it means ki they keep the body on the open space on the tower of silence so that the carnivorous uh, carnivorous birds like vulture they come and eat that body so that is due to the that is tower of silence that is the burial places of parsi and the method of the burial in the method of burial in the tower of silence that is called sky burial name of the priest there is no in fact uh, the priests are there what they do they do some prayers before that sky burial so the place where you will find ke the uh, place of worship of the parsi that is called fire temple or it is also called atish beharam it is also called atish beharam and the method of the burial of the parsis that is called sky burial and that is did in the tower of silence and that is the process whole it is called dakhma the process is called dakhma 
I hope it is clear. So there is no khad khad sound coming, guys. Everything is clear, and I can see the the mic is also coming properly. So I hope, my dear students, is that clear to all of you? Because this, due to the death of the Saras Mistri, it may ask you what is the name of the burial process of Parsis. That is called sky burial, in which they keep the dead bodies in the open spaces. That is. in the tower of silence and in malabar hills once you will go to mumbai there is a place called malabar hills so between the place between that place there is tower of silence where the people parsi people does the sky burial so i hope it is clear to all of you my dear students then please let me know then i will be moving to the next question is that clear to all of you clear guys all of you shall i move to the next question okay let's move to the next question now which of the following festival means merry making of the god so which of the famous festival means merry making of the god is it diwali lal harbora makar sankranti और पोंगल सो दैट इज लाई हार बोरा नॉट लाल हार बोरा इट इज लाई हार बोरा हारा ओबा एल ए आई एच ए आर ए ओ बी ए सो विच इज कॉल्ड द मेरी मेकिंग ऑफ द गॉड which festival is called merry making of the god now everyone has understood the things so that is called lai harbora and this is celebrated in which state okay so correct answer is this celebrated in which state celebrated in which state guys now tell me the name of the state celebrated in which state now tell me it is celebrated in which state celebrated in which state now you have to tell me okay that is lai har bora but it is celebrated in which state that's my question okay chantaru that's good good so that's good correct so that is being celebrated in manipur guys so this festival it is celebrated in manipur so this festival it is celebrated in manipur pongal that is in tamil nadu then makar sankranti the whole north india and diwali that is a whole india that is the whole india this festival is celebrated with full zeal and enthusiasm so correct answer will be guys option b that is the manipur it is celebrated as lai haroba and it is called the merry making of the god so correct answer will be option b that is lai haroba i hope vijay you must have known also and now you will not commit this type of mistake in examination so if you don't know there is no problem here you are there, there you are here you are to learn the things and definitely in every session you will be learning something new and once you will go to exam you will find ki maximum of the things that you already know therefore correct answer will be option b now come to a very easy question that is not a very big deal to answer ki which of the famous folk painting it is of madhubani madhubani painting so madhubani painting that we all know it's a very famous painting it is of which indian state madhubani painting it is of which indian state so madhubani painting guys that is did with aripan so madhubani it is name of a district in bihar also name of a district in bihar so it is did in bihar guys and it is did with aripan did with aripan and you will find patta chitra hmm. 
पत्ता चित्र दैट इज ऑफ उड़ीसा एंड पटुआ आर्ट पटुआ आर्ट दैट इज ऑफ वेस्ट बंगाल पटुआ आर्ट इट इज ऑफ वेस्ट बंगाल डेफिनेटली एंड मधुबनी पेंटिंग इट इज पॉपुलर इन बिहार so it is popular in bihar so once i was in school my principal dr mridula prakash she did her phd in madhubani paintings so when i was in school and she was my principal from class 1 to 5 dr mridula prakash she did her phd in madhubani painting and she is also very famous madhubani painter and uh, did her phd she did her phd from ranchi university and that she did her phd in madhubani painting so correct answer will be what my dear students it will be bihar and bihar the name that comes from bihar there were many buddhist residences at this particular place so the bihar distorted in the form of bihar so correct answer will be option c and for odisha the old name was kaling and for bengal that was vanga pradesh therefore correct answer will be option c and assam that was the area called prag jyotishpur assam the area that was called prag jyotishpur in ancient times okay good afternoon kirti kriti okay kirti sharma so good afternoon and welcome to the session now guys come to the next question ki which of the following state you will go and enjoy the famous gora gori puja that is celebrated every year so in which state you will go and enjoy gora gori festival that is celebrated every year so this gora gori gora gori guys it is option c c c my dear it is gora gori it is not gangor gangor it is in rajasthan gora gori it is celebrated to worship goddess parvati that is dead in chatisgarh so that is dead in my dear chatisgarh gangor festival it is in rajasthan gangor that is dead by for worship lord shiva that i have already told you plus goddess parvati lord shiva goddess parvati that is dead in chatisgarh so gora gori festival that is only for goddess parvati there is no association of god lord wish lord shiva to worship that is being celebrated in chatisgarh region so don't get confused with gora gori versus gangor don't get confused with gora gori versus gangor is that clear to all of you my dear then do tell me then i will be moving to the next question so is that clear to all of you so that is gora gori it is in chatisgarh gangor that is celebrated in rajasthan clear everyone kirti aman because this type of festivals they are very close and once it is given in option both are in option so what happens ki our mind stuck to those thing that we have already learnt like gangor maximum of us knows it is in rajasthan and if rajasthan it is in option so we will see gora gori or gangor both are different festival gangor worship of lord shiva and goddess parvati whereas in gora gori only the worship of lord of god or goddess parvati is did i hope my dear students you will not confused in gora gori versus gangor hmm so correct answer will be guys option b that is chatisgarh so that is being celebrated widely in chatisgarh 
एंड वंस यू विल गो टू छत्तीसगढ़ गाइज दे आर वेरी गुड होस्ट पीपल दे आर वेरी गुड होस्ट दे एंड दे आर वेरी स्वीट फ्रॉम देअर हार्ट सो आई हैव बीन इन छत्तीसगढ़ फॉर अराउंड फिफ्टीन टू ट्वेंटी डेज सो दे आर वेरी गुड होस्ट एंड दे आर वेरी गुड बाई हर्ट दे आर फोर दे जनरली से कि छत्तीसगढ़िया सबले बढ़िया सो करेक्ट आंसर विल बी गाइज ऑप्शन बी दैट इज छत्तीसगढ़ and once you will go to chatisgarh for any reason you will find ki the people who are real from chatisgarh who are not migrated from any other place who are from real chatisgarh region they are very good host and they love their guest and they treat their guest very well therefore and they are very good people by heart also therefore it is said in the dictum of chatisgarh ki chatisgarhia sable badhiya so correct answer will be guys option b That is Chhattisgarh. Now in Uttarakhand, guys, you will find the very famous Kedarnath Temple, Badrinath Temple. So that is all in Uttarakhand. Now, Kamban wrote the Ramayana in which of the following language? So Kamban, there is a very famous poet Kamban. I will not tell the name of the area because you will understand the language. So Kamban Ramayana, it is written in which of the following language? Kamban Ramayan it is written in which of the following language i will not tell you the name of the place of the person from where he belongs otherwise you will find the correct answer okay so chantharu is saying option b malayalam tamil telugu kannada okay so vijay is saying option d chantharu is saying option b guys kamban ramayan that is written by a tamil poet so kamban ramayan it is written by a tamil poet it is written by a tamil poet kamban kamban also somewhere you will find it is written kambar so tamil poet tamil nadu so correct answer will be option b and the name of that book is rama avataram so that is kamban ramayan it is also called kamban ramayan that is also called rama avataram so correct answer will be guys option hmm. that is not option only for you it is all it is option for all of you not only for chantharu because he belong from tamil nadu it is the option for all of you so that kambar person he is a very famous poet in tamil nadu like tiruvalluvar like tiruvalluvar tiruvalluvar is also very famous poet in tamil nadu so kambar ramayan or kamban ramayan it is a ramayan in tamil language so correct answer will be guys option b that is in tamil malayalam that is generally spoken in kerala telugu andhra pradesh plus telangana and kannada that is in karnataka therefore correct answer will be it is written in tamil and tamil that is in tamil nadu so ha huh, tirukural that is written by tiruvalluvar very famous tamil poet tiruvalluvar tirukural that is his famous writing therefore my dear learners correct answer will be option b that is tamil so he wrote the things in tamil and tamil it is said that it is the ancient language it is the one of the ancient languages of india one of the ancient languages of india tamil and it is said that ki the first person who introduced the tamil before the world that is himself lord shiva very old language and whenever i used to go tamil nadu i do not understand any single word that is being written so that becomes very pathetic for me ki whenever i used to go to tamil nadu when i was somewhere earlier so there was a much different language problem because i was not able to read the tamil therefore every time i have to see the google map ki okay what it is being written in fact so that was a very big problem with me in tamil nadu although i visited the main place chennai okay guys so let's come to the next question 
सो एवरी टाइम आई हैव टू ट्रांसलेट द थिंग सो दैट एंड आई हैव टू आस सम लोकल पीपल कि आई हैव टू गो दिस दिस प्लेस सो व्हाट्स इट इज बीइंग रिटन ऑन द बोर्ड सो दैट बिकम्स वेरी पैथेटिक फॉर मी एंड वंस आई वाज गोइंग टू विजिट मरीना बीच देयर आई फाउंड द वेरी फेमस मुसोलियम ऑफ द वन ऑफ द फेमस पर्सनैलिटीज ऑफ द तमिल नाडु आई थॉट कि आफ्ट जस्ट यू फील जम्प द बॉर्डर देन आई विल गो टू द सी सो दैट वॉज प्रॉब्लम थिंग ओके नाउ गाइज कम टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन कि द फेमस खजुराहो ग्रुप ऑफ मॉन्यूमेंट्स इट इज इन विच स्टेट ऑफ इंडिया एंड इफ यू नो दैट मच आई डोंट नो एनी सिंगल लाइन इन तमिल सो दैट इज अ वेरी पैथेटिक थिंग बट आई नो कि देर इज टू मच ऑफ द हीट दैट इज इन तमिलनाडु ऑल्सो एंड द फेमस फॉर द डोसाज दैट आई लव वेरी मोस्ट एंड यूज टू टेक द कोकोनट वॉटर एंड दैट वॉज वेरी हेल्दी फॉर द थिंग बॉडी नाउ द फेमस खजुराहो ग्रुप ऑफ मॉन्यूमेंट दैट इज इन विच स्टेट ऑफ इंडिया उत्तर प्रदेश मध्य प्रदेश राजस्थान और महाराष्ट्र वेरी वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन गाइज एंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी दैट इज खजुराहो यू विल फाइंड अ फेमस टेम्पल फेमस कंदरिया महादेव टेम्पल कंदरिया महादेव टेम्पल Kandariya Mahadev Temple and that is in Chhatarpur district of Madhya Pradesh so that is in Chhatarpur district of Madhya Pradesh Mahabharat it is also called fifth veda Mahabharat it is being written by it is being said that ki Mahabharat is also called the fifth veda Mahabharat it is also but it is said by some of the person it is not 100% ki mahabharat is the fifth veda so fifth veda mahabharat is also called the fifth veda or pancham ved so i hope sanjeev it is clear mahabharat is called fifth ved और पंचम वेद महाभारत इज कॉल्ड फिफ्थ वेद और पंचम वेद आई होप इट इज क्लियर संजीव दैट इज द फिफ्थ वेद और पंचम वेद ओके नाउ गाइस सो करेक्ट आंसर विल बी ऑप्शन डी एंड इफ आई टॉक अबाउट उत्तर प्रदेश द फेमस सांची स्तूप सॉरी फेमस If I talk about this Dhamek Stoop, Sarnath Pillar, Dhamek Stoop, Sarnath Pillar, that is all in the Uttar Pradesh, then rajasthan that is the famous for the ports of india then maharashtra ajanta elora other than this elephanta caves ajanta elora elephanta caves so these are all in maharashtra ajanta elora and elephanta and correct answer will be dhamek stoop करेक्ट आंसर विल बी गाइज ऑप्शन बी दैट इज मध्य प्रदेश अदर देन दिस यू विल फाइंड इन मध्य प्रदेश बाघ केव्स बाघ केव्स दैट इज ऑल्सो इन मध्य प्रदेश बाघ केव्स सो करेक्ट आंसर विल बी गाइज ऑप्शन बी दैट इज मध्य प्रदेश नाउ लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन इज Okay, which of the following is called the national monument of india
विच इज कॉल्ड नेशनल मॉन्यूमेंट ऑफ इंडिया इज इट इंडिया गेट गेटवे ऑफ इंडिया राजघाट और रेड फोर्ट नेशनल मॉन्यूमेंट ऑफ इंडिया ओके लेट सी द करेक्ट आंसर ओके विजय सिंह ऑप्शन डी संजीव इज सिंह ऑप्शन ए चंथारो इज सिंह ऑप्शन ए ओके लेट सी सम अदर रिस्पॉन्सेज एज वेल देन वी विल कम टू एंड देन वी विल डिस्कस द राइट आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन That is Amar Jawan Jyoti. It is now shifted to the different place. In fact, so there is the war memorial. It is national war memorial. It is there. There it is being shifted. <coughs> Guys, national monument of India that is in India Gate. So that is India Gate, and it is located in Kartavya Path. Kartavya Path. That is the Delhi. that was earlier called rajpath earlier called rajpath and before this it was called kingsway before this it was called kingsway now guys this is in delhi and it is the official name was all india war memorial official name that was all india वॉर मेमोरियल ऑल इंडिया वॉर मेमोरियल नाउ टेल मी हु वॉज द आर्किटेक्ट ऑफ इंडिया गेट हु वॉज द आर्किटेक्ट ऑफ इंडिया गेट हु वॉज द आर्किटेक्ट ऑफ इंडिया गेट माई डियर स्टूडेंट आर्किटेक्ट ऑफ इंडिया गेट Architect of India Gate, guys. So that you have to tell me who was the architect of India Gate, and uh, let me give you a hint so that you can answer properly. He was the architect who designed the Rashtrapati or Viceroy House also. He was the same architect who designed the Rashtrapati or uh, not Rashtrapati Bhavan. It was the Viceroy House also. So who was the person? He was the same person who designed. Viceroy's house as well, and the same person designed India Gate also. Now you have to answer the question because that's a very big hint. And in the previous session, I have already told you that who designed the Viceroy's house. Very good. So Vijay now is giving the correct answer. That is Sir Edwin Lutyen. That is Sir Edwin Lutyen. Sir Edwin Lutyen. now if i talk about gateway of india that is in mumbai so gateway of india that is in kolaba mumbai and that is before taj hotel taj that is before hotel taj that is before hotel taj that is in kolaba mumbai that is before hotel taj that is in mumbai now who was the architect of this gateway of india who was the architect of this gateway of india architect of gateway of india that is in kolaba that is in mumbai and once george fifth along with queen mary they came for the third delhi darbar so just to commemorate the arrival of king george fifth and queen mary this particular place was being constructed so the architect was george witet george witet now rajghat that is in delhi and it is the burial place of mk burial place of mk gandhi and red fort red fort guys it is in two places red fort it is in agra also in delhi so red fort 
it is in agra and in delhi so agra red fort that was constructed by akbar and that was shah jahan and the real name of the red fort real name of red fort delhi that was kila e mubarak that was called kila e mubarak that is called blessed fort hmm so that was called blessed fort it is also called blessed fort blessed fort so correct answer will be what it will be option a that is india gate i hope guys it is clear and the third delhi darbar that was held during the time of lord harding second 1910 to 1916 so george fifth and queen mary they came in third delhi darbar 1911 that was lord harding second Nineteen hundred ten to nineteen hundred and sixteen, and during his time period, it was the transfer of India. The transfer of capital of India was did from Calcutta to Delhi. So, correct answer will be what, guys? It will be option A. That is the gateway of India. So, correct answer will be option A. That is gateway of India. That is now located in Kartavya Path. Earlier it was called Rajpath, and before Rajpath it was called Kingsway Camp. And the Rashtrapati Bhavan and India Gate it is on the main line. Rashtrapati Bhavan and India Gate it is on main line, and there you will find the Central Vista project has been created. So is that clear to all of you guys? If you have any query confusion that is related to the things, you can ask for. so correct answer will be guys option a that is india gate is that clear to all of you guys any doubt any query any confusion to anyone then feel free to ask also don't hesitate in asking your doubts queries and concerns okay shall i move to the next question shall i move to the next question okay so let's move to the next question to discuss all the important information about all these monuments that i have provided to you now come to the next question in which area did prem bihari rai zada earn the fame so in which of the following area prem bihari rai zada earned the fame is it painting folk dance calligraphy or politics so in which of the following area prem bihari rai zada earned fame okay let's see the correct answer vijay sanjeev definitely everyone is there giving the correct answer prem bihari rai zada he was a famous calligrapher he was a famous calligrapher who calligraphed constitution of india india in english english and he was a very famous calligrapher and the font used to write the constitution of india was italic so he wrote the whole constitution in italic format font
italic font so he used the things in italic font so english calligraphy was did by him and hindi calligraphy hindi calligraphy was did by whom of constitution of india hindi calligraphy was did by whom to the constitution of india so it was not being written by this person so that was being calligraphed by this person okay so hindi calligraphy was did by whom my dear students so who calligraphed the hindi version of indian constitution guys hindi calligraphy of the constitution of india that was did by vasant krishna vaidya Vasant Krishna Vaid, they he did the calligraphy of the Indian Constitution in Hindi. So Vasant Krishna Vaid, Vasant Krishna Vaid did the calligraphy of the Hindi version of Indian Constitution. Therefore, Prem Bihari Rajada, he was a very famous calligrapher. So he did the calligraphy of the constitution of india so my dear students correct answer will be what it will be option c that is calligraphy hindi calligraphy was did by vasant krishna vaid i hope it is clear to all of you shall i move to the next question is that clear to all of you guys shall i move to the next question okay let's move to the next question to discuss let's move to the next question now come to the next question ki which of the following places is famous for chicken curry embroidery so which of the following places in india it is famous for chicken curry embroidery is it gorakhpur hyderabad ujjain or lucknow so famous for chicken curry embroidery गोरखपुर हैदराबाद उज्जैन और लखनऊ सो चिकन कारी एम्ब्रॉयडरी गाइज इट इज फेमस ऑफ विच पर्टिकुलर प्लेस ओके प्रशांत ओके एवरी वन इज सेइंग ऑप्शन डी ऑप्शन डी ऑप्शन डी सो चिकन कारी गाइज दैट इज फेमस फॉर प्लेस दैट इज कॉल्ड लखनऊ एंड इट इज कॉल्ड सिटी ऑफ नवाब and it was the capital of the avadh it was capital of avadh now gorakhpur and it is located on bank of river gomti located on bank of river gomti then gorakhpur that is famous for temple of goraknath famous for goraknath temple and yogi adityanath is the head mahant of goraknath temple that is located in the bank of river rapti then hyderabad famous for biryani and specially spicy biryani that is famous for that is on the bank of river musi and ujjain famous for mahakal temple or काल भैरव टेम्पल हरसिद्धि टेम्पल एंड मंगलनाथ टेम्पल दैट इज ऑन द बैंक ऑफ रिवर शिप्रा दैट इज ऑन बैंक ऑफ रिवर शिप्रा 
So correct answer will be guys option C that is Lucknow and Lucknow city was being founded by Nawab Asafud Dola. So Asafud Dola was the founder of the city of Lucknow and the last Nawab was Wajid Ali Shah. Therefore guys correct answer will be option D chicken curry embroidery that is famous in Lucknow. So very famous place and it is called the city of Nawab and famous for chicken curry embroidery also. Therefore, correct answer will be option D. I hope my dear students, is that clear to all of you? Is that clear to all of you? Shall I move to the next question? Char Minar that is also in Hyderabad that was constructed by Kuli Kutub Shah. Char Minar that is also in Hyderabad. That was did by Kuli Kutub Shah. Kuli Kutub Shah. So, correct answer will be guys option D. That is Lucknow. Now, the Birja Temple, Rajrani Temple and Sammaleshwari Temple, they all are located in which state of India? Birja Temple, Rajrani Temple and Salamayeshwari Temple that is located in which state of India? Is it Odisha, Tamil Nadu, Assam or Kerala? Birja, Samaleshwari, Rajnani Temple that is all in which state of India? Okay, let's see the correct answer. Prashant is saying option B. Vijay is saying option A. Then uh, Sanjeev is saying option A. Prashant now has changed the option. Okay. Prashant B is saying Odisha. Yes, guys. These all famous temple, Birja temple that is dedicated to goddess Durga. So, correct answer will be option A. That is in Odisha. That is in Jajpur district, I guess. Tamil Nadu, you will find Meenakshi temple. Temple, then you have a very famous temple that is called Raj Rajeshwar Temple. That is also called Brihadeshwar Temple, that is in Tanjore. Assam, very famous Kamakya Temple. And in Kerala, Padmanav Swami Temple. So, correct answer will be guys option D, A that is Odisha Birja temple that is dedicated to goddess Virja and it is the form of goddess Durga. Hmm. Assam you will find very famous Kamakya temple is there and Kamakya temple the Ambuvachi festival is celebrated over there. So, Kamakya it is a very famous Tantra peat. So, it is a very famous Tantra peat of India. So, the tantrics of different different places, awkward science practitioners and those who practice this type of paranormal activities during the time of Ambuvasi festival, they come to Kamakya and to just uh, uh, do this type of activities. So, that is the correct answer is guys option A that is Urisa. Hmm. Meenakshi temple that is of goddess Lakshmi and you will find it is a very famous temple Mahalakshmi temple it is also in Mumbai. Now, come to a very easy question of the day that Giddha, it is a form of dance which is associated with which of the following state. So, Giddha dance is associated with which of the following state. Is it Punjab, Himachal, Haryana, Rajasthan? So, I, am, I will be on the one side of the screen so that you can see the things properly. Now, Giddha, it is a dance form of which of the following state? Bhangra plus Giddha. Giddha is did by female and Bhangra, it is did by male. So, that is did in Punjab. Guys, in Himachal Pradesh, you will find Nati dance. Nati dance, it is a famous dance form of the Punjab. Priya, okay. How many more questions? Good afternoon, Priya. 
देन हरियाणा गाइज यू हैव धमाल एंड लूर डांस एंड फ्रॉम राजस्थान यू हैव फेमस कालबेलिया देन यू हैव झूमर घूमर दीज आर ऑल द फोक डांसेज ऑफ पंज ऑफ राजस्थान सो करेक्ट आंसर विल बी गाइज ऑप्शन ए सो होप फुली थ्री फोर मोर क्वेश्चन विल बी देयर गाइज थ्री फोर मोर क्वेश्चन विल बी देयर नाउ कम टू अर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन कि हु डायरेक्टेड द फिल्म ऑन द डकैट क्वीन फूलन देवी सो अ मूवी दैट केम अ वेरी फेमस एंड पॉपुलर मूवी दैट वॉज बैंडेड क्वीन Bandit Queen was being directed by whom? So that was on the story of Fulan Devi, the very famous Bandit Queen, Fulan Devi. So Bandit Queen, it is being directed by which of the following person? Abbas Mastan, Shashi Kapoor, Shekhar Kapoor, or Anil Kapoor? So who directed the famous movie that is Bandit Queen? Good afternoon, Priya. Welcome to the session. Abbas Mastan he directs the movie which is a masala movie and this type of movie it is a art movie it is a type of an art movie like salam bombay or uh, other than this minakshi a tale of three series so it is being directed by shekhar kapoor so shekhar kapoor also he hosted the very famous show pradhan mantri so once you can see on the star news there was a show used to come that was called pradhan mantri he hosted that show pradhan mantri also and the shekhar kapoor he directed the movie bandit queen therefore correct answer will be option c that is shekhar kapoor that is an art movie although now pandit birju maharaj who passed away recently that means almost a year was associated with which of the following so pandit birju maharaj he did not pass away recently so he died a year back almost a year back so he was associated with which of the following dance form birju maharaj is associated with which of the following dance form is it is associated with which flute tabla kathak or bharatnatyam so very famous dancer pandit birju maharaj lachhu maharaj his father achhan maharaj was also a very famous kathak dancer so is a very famous kathak dancer flute hari prasad chaurasia pandit hari prasad chaurasia then tabla ustad zakir husain and bharatnatyam that is from tamil nadu originated from the natya shastra of bharat muni originated from natya shastra of bharat muni therefore correct answer will be option c ustad allah rakha khan allah rakha khan was father of डॉक्टर ऑफ जाकिर हुसैन साहब ही अल्लाह रखा खान वॉज फादर ऑफ जाकिर हुसैन साहब सो पंडित बिरजू महाराज इज एसोसिएटेड विथ कथक डांस नाउ कम टू अ वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन इट इज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज इन करेक्ट सो इज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज इन करेक्ट so it is not harna malini it is hema malini it is hema malini so which of the following pair is guys incorrect so hema malini guy okay which of the following pair is incorrect so ustad amzad ali khan tabla so that is wrong ustad amzad ali khan that is of sarod ustad bismillah khan that was shehnai hema malini trained bharatnatyam dancer shambhu maharaj he is from kathak 
So Ustad Amjad Ali Khan he is associated with Sarod and it is a string musical instrument. And Hema Malni, she is MP from Mathura also and she is a trained Kathak Bharat Natyam dancer and her daughter, they are famous ODC dancers. So Isha Deol and Ahana Deol, they are famous ODC dancer and Hema Malini, she is a very trained dancer of Bharat Natyam. So along with MP, she is also a trained dancer of Bharat Natyam. And Bharat Natyam, we all know it is a classical dance. So Hema Malini is associated with Bharat Natyam. So other than a film star and or an MP, she is also a trained dancer. Therefore, correct answer will be option C. Now, Jhijiya dance that originated in which state of India? Jhijiya dance. Jhijiya dance that is originated in which state of India? Jhijiya dance that is originated in which state of India guys? Bihar, West Bengal, Rajasthan or Gujarat where it originated? Okay, Radha Raman Jha is saying option A. Yes, it is option A. So that is did during the time of Navratri guys. So that is the famous club folk dance of Bihar. So it's a very famous folk dance of Bihar. And if I talk about the famous dance of West Bengal, that is Gambhira. Kirtan. Gambhira, Kirtan, Alka. These are the famous dancers of West Bengal. Rajasthan, you have Kalbelia, Ghumar. Kachi Ghodi, Gujarat, Garba, Dandia, Bhavai, these are in Gujarat. So correct answer will be guys option A that is in Bihar other than this Bidesia. It is also a very famous dance from Bihar. So Bidesia. It is also a famous dance from Bihar. So, Bidesia dance, it is also a very famous dance from Bihar. So, correct answer will be option A. So, correct answer will be option A, guys. That is Bihar, Bidesia. It is also a very famous folk dance of Bihar. Now, come to a very easy question. Ki Bhedi Nakhlam. It is a traditional dance of which of the following state? Bhedi Nakhlam. Is it Tamil Nadu, Gujarat, Chhattisgarh, Meghalaya? Bhedi Nakhlam. Bhedi Nakhlam, it is a traditional dance of which of the state? Tamil Nadu, Gujarat, Chhattisgarh, Meghalaya. Okay, let's see the correct answer. Okay, Prashant is saying option D. Okay, Prashant, got your answer. So, Bhedi Nakhlam, guys, it is being generally did by the Jaintiya tribe. So, it is did by the Jaintiya tribe. And Jaintiya tribe, it is in Meghalaya. So, Garo, Khasi and Jaintiya, they are the names of the hills. They are the names of the tribes of the Meghalaya. So, that is did by Meghal. That is did in Meghalaya because Garo, Khasi and Jaintiya, out of this, Jaintia hills and Jaintia tribe. It is found in Meghalaya region. Therefore, it is the classical dance of Meghalaya. Sorry, classical not folk dance of Meghalaya. Classical dance are only eight. It is the folk dance of Meghalaya. So, correct answer will be option D. That is Meghalaya because Garo, Khasi, Jaintia. They are the names of the hills. They are the names of the tribes of Meghalaya region. So, correct answer will be option D. Now, Thangta, 
इट इज अ मार्शल आर्ट ऑफ विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेट थांगटा thangta that is the martial art of which of the following state like kallari you have the martial arts of keral so thangta it is a martial art of which of the following state is it sikkim odisha manipur or assam thangta thangta it is a martial art of which of the following indian state ओके लेट सी द करेक्ट आंसर प्रिया इज सेइंग ऑप्शन सी ओके विजय इज आल्सो गोइंग विद ऑप्शन सी देन लेट सी सम अदर आंसर्स एज वेल ओके लेट सी गाइस थांगटा इट इज अ मार्शल आर्ट्स ऑफ मणिपुर सो इट इज अ मार्शल आर्ट ऑफ मणिपुर वेयर एज कलरी पॉयट टू it is a martial art of keral that you must have seen in the movie bagi and gatka that is of the sikh sikh people so this is the martial art of sikh people that is called gatka and kallari payattu that is from the keral and thangta that is from the manipur so correct answer will be guys option c that is manipur ओहो वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन गाइस कि आलू पोस्तो दैट इज द ट्रेडिशनल डेलिकेसी ऑफ विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेट्स ऑफ इंडिया आलू पोस्तो पोस्तो दैट इज कॉल्ड द पॉपी सीड्स पोस्तो दैट इज कॉल्ड द पॉपी सीड्स पॉपी सीड्स ऑफ विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेट सो आलू पोस्तो दिस इज द ट्रेडिशनल डेलीकेसी ऑफ विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेट हरियाणा उत्तर प्रदेश गुजरात और वेस्ट बंगाल सो आलू पोस्तो आई हैव नॉट इटेन दिस बट आई हैव हर्ड अबाउट दिस पर्टिकुलर डेलीकेसी मे मैक्सिमम टाइम थ्रू माई बेंगोली फ्रेंड्स सो आलू पोस्तो दैट इज अ ट्रेडिशनल डेलीकेसी ऑफ विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेट सो दैट इज वेस्ट बंगाल डी डी सो येस गाइज दिस इज अ delicacy of west bengal and then uh, you have a very famous delicacy of the gujarat also that you will find that is khaman papda these are the delicacy from the gujarat itself so correct answer will be guys option d that is the Let's move to the next question. The next question before us is that the film Shatranj ke Khiladi is based on a short story of whom? So Shatranj ke Khiladi that is on the short story of which? Shatranj ke Khiladi that is on the. शॉर्ट स्टोरी दैट इज बेस्ड ऑन जयशंकर प्रसाद रामधारी सिंह दिनकर सूर्यकांत त्रिपाठी निराला और मुंशी प्रेमचंद सो दिस इज बेस्ड ऑन अ शॉर्ट स्टोरी ऑफ विच पर्टिकुलर पर्सनैलिटी दैट इज फिल्म शतरंज के खिलाफ शतरंज दैट इज कॉल्ड चेस शतरंज इन इंग्लिश दैट इज कॉल्ड चेस एंड दिस इज बेस्ड ऑन द मूवी ऑफ that is based on the short story of munshi premchand and munshi premchand guys he was a very famous novelist he was a very famous novelist jay shankar prasad he was a poet and he wrote a famous poem that is kamaini ramdhari singh dinkar rashmi rathi सूर्यकांत त्रिपाठी निराला दैट इज राम की शक्ति पूजा सो करेक्ट आंसर विल बी गाइस ऑप्शन डी दैट इज मुर्सी मुंशी प्रेमचंद ही रोड द वेरी शॉर्ट स्टोरी दैट वाज शतरंज के खिलाड़ी सो करेक्ट आंसर विल बी गाइस ऑप्शन डी
नाउ नेक्स्ट इज द क्वेश्चन गाइज की विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज अ मेजर फोक डांस ऑफ राजस्थान सो विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज अ मेजर फोक डांस ऑफ राजस्थान विदेशिया गिद्धा घूमर और बीहू सो विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज अ मेजर फोक डांस ऑफ राजस्थान मेजर फोक डांस ऑफ राजस्थान ओके लेट सी प्रिया इज सेंग ऑप्शन सी विजय से ऑप्शन सी प्रिया इज सेंग घूमर यस गाइस विदेशिया इज फ्रॉम बिहार गिद्धा पंजाब बिहू असम घूमर दैट इज ऑफ राजस्थान सो करेक्ट आंसर विल बी गाइस ऑप्शन C that is Ghumar. Ha Kalbelia that is in the 15 intangible heritage list and there is very famous called Nagin dance or the snake dance that is called Kalbelia. And this is being did by the Kalbelia people who earlier used to catch the snakes or like the snake charmers. So correct answer will be option C that is Ghumar. Now come to the last question of the day okay, which of the following is a dance style of Maharashtra which of the following it is a dance style of Maharashtra is it Chirao, Ottoman Thul, Lezim or Manch ओके लेट सी लेजिम लेजिम प्रिया इज सेंग लेजिम देन विजय चंद्रा इज सेंग ऑटोमन थुल दैट इज ऑफ केरल ओके गाइज नाउ लेट्स सी द आंसर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल चेराव दैट इज ऑफ मेजोरम चेराव इट इज ऑफ मेजोरम ओटोमन थुल दैट इज ऑफ केरल लेजिम महाराष्ट्र देन मांच मध्य प्रदेश सो करेक्ट आंसर विल बी गाइज ऑप्शन सी दैट इज लेजिम तो करेक्ट आंसर विल बी ऑप्शन सी गाइज दैट इज लेजिम बिकॉज चेराव इट इज ऑफ मेजोरम ओटमन थुल केरल लेजिम दैट इज ऑफ महाराष्ट्र एंड मांच दैट इज ऑफ मध्य प्रदेश सो करेक्ट आंसर विल बी ऑप्शन सी दैट इज लेजिम ओके so my dear students with this we complete the end of this marathon and i hope you must have enjoyed the marathon and found this marathon as a useful and interesting and guys if you have any query any concern that is related to any question of the session you can write your concern in the comment box i will personally answer the question and if you found the session interesting and informative and that is according to the need of your examination also don't forget to like and share the session as well as subscribe to our english medium prep by example youtube channel now it is on the search list you can easily search and can join and those students who are who have visited our channel for the first time don't forget to subscribe the channel as well as press the bell icon so that whatever the sessions whatever the sessions we used to take or the different educators used to take you will get the notification of all these things so that you cannot miss any of the things so with this guys we conclude the session of today thanks for watching the session and from tomorrow itself we will be continuing with our already youtube schedule that english at 8 reasoning at 9 science at 10 followed by g at 11 and maths at 12 and we have also started a separate batches for the junior court assistant but it is equally important for rest of your ssc exams also in which english will be taken by tosif sir at one science will be taken by ravi sir at two ankit sir will be taking care of your reasoning at three maths by sanjay tomar sir at four and at five i will be taking your general awareness session 
सो गाइज वॉट एवर इज द योर रिस्पॉन्स यू कैन प्लीज पुट दियोर रिस्पॉन्स इन द कमेंट बॉक्स यू कैन गिव योर सजेशन ऑल्सो सो दैट वी कैन डिजाइन आवर सेशन अकॉर्डिंग टू योर नीड एंड वॉट एवर आई वॉट आई हैव सीन के टिल नाउ एस एस सी सी एस एस सी एज नॉट नोटिफाइड द नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ सी जी एल टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू सो द बाई द टाइम द नोटिफिकेशन कम्स आवर टीम विल बी देयर टू एक्सप्लेन द होल थिंग्स कि वॉट इज द नंबर ऑफ पोस्ट एज वी आर हयरिंग कि नंबर ऑफ पोस्ट विल बी इंक्रीज एंड अदर इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ एस एस सी सी जी एल सो गाइज दैट वॉज ऑल फॉर द डे लेट्स मीट टूमोरो शार्प एट इलेवन देन एट फाइव फॉर द सेशंस ऑन इंडियन पॉलिटी दैट इज रनिंग फॉर द एट इलेवन एंड देन मिक्स क्वेश्चन सीरीज फॉर द जे सी ए टिल देन बाय एवरी वन एंड डू टेक वेरी गुड केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ